Hello kids, welcome to the session at Learn Forward platform by Federgo. So I'm your English facilitator Garima Singh to make your learning easy and fun. Hope you all are ready with your books Fly High Grade 2. Now we'll read chapter 4 that says The Little Red Hen. So it's a story about a little red hen. The play is about a little red hen who is very hard working. She finds some wheat and she plans to make a bread. Let's read to find out what about who gets the bread. So in this we'll be reading about the hen, the red hen who is very hard working and the red hen you know gets some wheat and plans to prepare some bread. So a small activity we have. Identify the following farm animals and write how each of them is useful for us. So I'll just discuss the first one with you. It's a cow and how does a cow helps us? A cow gives us milk. All right. So next is the horse, the hen, the sheep and the dog. So you will be all writing the uses. Okay. Now let's read it. So the characters are the little hen, the dog, horse, cow, cat and sheep. So in this play we'll be having so many animals, right? So what is scene one in a field near the farmyard. Hen, look, I have found some wheat. Dog, is that good news? Hen, yes, it is. I will plant this wheat so that I can have flour to make some bread. Dog, that is a good news. All, we like fresh new bread. So now here we have a conversation between the hen and the dog. The hen says that, see, I have some wheat. And then the dog says that, do you think it's a good news? She says, yes, of course, because, you know, from this wheat, I'm going to make some bread. And then all the other animals, they say that, yes, we all love to have fresh bread. Where did the hen found some wheat? Okay, so where did she, she found some wheat in the field? Who like the fresh new bread? All other animals. Which animals? Horse, cow, cat and sheep. Now the cat says, I like to eat it with lots of cream. Horse, I like the crusty bits. So what are the crusty bits? The crusty is, you know, well baked, you know, the crunchy crispy and bits are the small pieces. So the horse says, I like the crusty bits. The sheep says, can we have some now? Cow, I am very hungry. Hen, you will have to wait. First, we have to dig the ground so that we can sow the seeds. Now, hen says that you'll have to wait for some time because we'll have to dig, dig is khodna. We'll have to dig the ground so that we can sow the seeds, right? Horse, that sounds like hard work. Now, horse says this is really, we really have to work so hard for digging the ground and then sowing the seeds. Hen, I hope you will all help me. Will you all help me dig the ground? Dog, no, I am too busy. Ask cat. Now when the hen asks the dog that are you ready to help me? He says, no, I am too busy. You can ask the cat. Cat, will you help me sow the seeds? No, I am too busy. Ask horse. So everybody is lazy and they are passing on. Who said I am very hungry? The cow says that I am very hungry. Next, sheep. Horse has gone to sleep in his stable. Now, stable is a place where a horse lives, right? Hen, oh dear, will you help me, sheep? Sheep, no, I am busy too. You can ask the cow. Hen, cow, will you help me? No, I am too busy. Hen, oh dear, I have to do it all by myself. Now, the hen says that none of them is ready to help me out. So, I will have to do all by myself. I will have to do everything on my own. In the next few months, little red hen had to go uh, do a lot of hard work. Nobody else helped her. She watered the feed plants. She cut the grain when the wheat had grown tall. She took the grain to the mill all by herself. She carried the wheat floor all the way back home. Then she baked the bread without the help of others. The little red hen was quite tired because she had to work so much. After all, she had done everything herself. But then, you know, that satisfaction when you work hard and you do everything on your own, you really feel very happy and satisfied. In the farmyard some months later, hen, yum, the bread is ready. Dog, sniff, sniff, mmm, that bread smells good. Cat, can I have some with lots of cream? Horse, 
can I have some crusty bits? Sheep, can I have some too? Cow, I am very hungry. All, please can we have some bread now? Hen, no, you didn't help me dig the ground. Sow the seeds, water the wheat, cut the wheat, carry the grain or bake the bread. So the hen says, no, you people will not get anything because you did not help me in any ways, right? I did everything on my own. All, but you can't eat it all by yourself. Hen, I have done all the work by myself. So my chicken, my chicks and I will eat the bread. I think that's only fair, don't you? So the hen says that me and my chicks, my babies will have it all. And I think it's all fair because I was the one who had put in efforts, right? So bread is a type of baked food. It is mainly made from dough, which is made from flour and water. Usually salt and yeast. Yeast is, you know, it is uh, added to the dough so that it can ferment. Uh, ferment. Uh, ferment is you must have seen mama making idlis and uh, or dosas and adding eno so that is used for fermentation so yeast is uh, uh, yeast is added to the dough so that it can ferment right bread is often baked in an oven we all know why is hard work a key to success so why do you feel a hard, that hard work is key to success? Hard work is key to success because you know when you put in efforts you work hard. God really you know acknowledges your efforts and God pays you back for your hard work and your uh, efforts you've put in in any task. So now we have the exercise. Which of the following is the opposite of bad? Poor? No. Good. Next, which part of the given sentence has an error? If the sentence is error free, we will take mark the option no error. Little red hen took the grain on the mill all by herself. So, which is what is the error? Can you find an error? Little red hen took the grain on the mill all by herself. First of all, the full stop is missing. So, let's see. Had to work a lot, nobody else. She watered. And little Redden was quite tired. Mm. She carried the wheat floor all the way back home. Okay. Okay. Little Redden took the grain on the mill all by herself. Only the full stop is missing, right? And on the mill, it should be to the mill. Okay. The next we have the extract. And based on that, we need to answer the questions. Why will the hen plant the wheat? Okay. You will have to wait first. We have to... Okay. Why will the hen plant the, plant the wheat? So that hen and her chicks can have the bread which can which is going to be baked when the wheat is ready you know once the wheat is ready she can have the flour to bake the bread that is good news who said this line okay so we'll have to go through who said this line because there were so many characters and it is really difficult to recall okay yes it is that is good news the dog said this Next, all animals like fresh new bread. Cats like the crispy bits. No, it was the horse. So it's a false statement. Okay, take the correct option. Who found some wheat in the field? Who found some wheat in the field? Was it hen or somebody else? Look, I have found some wheat. So it was the hen who found some wheat. Who liked to eat bread with lots of cream? It was cat. All the animals like bread, but they didn't help the hen plant the grains. Why? Because they were all lazy and they did not work, uh, want to work hard. Okay, now arrange the following in the order with little hen did them. First one is, she sowed the grains. Number one. Then, she watered the wheat when the ground was dry. 
then she cut the grains when the wheat had grown tall next she took the grains to the mill she carried the wheat flour all the way back home and then she baked the bread so this is the sequence correct next answer the following questions who liked the crusty bits it was the horse who liked the crusty bits who took the grains to the mill the little red hen uh, hen took the grains to the mill were all the animals happy that the hen would plant the grain all animals were uh, happy yes because they all wanted to have the fresh bread but then none of them was ready to help her why did the hen not give bread to the others okay yes the red hen did not give bread to others because nobody did any work for her it was she who alone worked hard to get the bread little red hen did all the work by herself what does it tell you about her so what does this tell about the little red hen that she was hard working right and she believed in hard work okay so that was all about the play read the play once again because you know when you have so many characters it is really difficult to you know recall the dialogue so read it twice and then you'll be able to recall everything so i hope you all write the play read it once again go through the exercise see you tomorrow till then take care happy learning